And as stores and businesses have been leaving Portland, there's one that just moved into downtown. Shake Shack held its grand opening today at its first Portland location along West Burnside. Our Joe Ranieri joins us live from downtown. So, Joe, how have the lines been there today? Pretty smooth so far. Now, I was out here earlier this morning just before the grand opening, but when I got here right around 9 30, 10 o'clock this morning, there was a crowd of about 40 people waiting to get inside the restaurant here. I talked with the person who was first in line. He said he got here about 6 o'clock this morning, but a lot of the patrons, of course, are excited about the burgers, the shakes, and of course, this uh, big ping pong table as well. But you talk to local businesses in the area, they tell me they're really excited to see this corner of 10th and West, uh, West Burnside finally developed. There's a new neighbor along West Burnside in downtown Portland. One, it's a block away, and then also, I mean, it's cool the fact that we have something new in town, and uh, it's nice to add things like in this area specifically. Shake Shack held its grand opening on Monday morning. Well, my boys are on the East Coast, and they let me know, you're getting a Shake Shack, and I'm like, I'm getting one? Like, I get my own Shake Shack? And he goes, no, 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 they're opening one in downtown. So I said, okay, I'll go try it out. This is the second Shake Shack that's now open in the metro area. The first opened up two years ago in the Cedar Hills Crossing area in Beaverton. What has businesses excited, the location and how other businesses are hoping it'll help restore downtown Portland. This block has been uh, vacant for many years, so it's really nice to look out the store window and see something so beautiful and welcoming and inviting. Bree Hogue is the store manager at Powell's Books that's right across the street. She says downtown Portland is slowly seeing more people come back to the downtown area. It has been quieter downtown in the downtown areas, but things are really starting to pick up. We're seeing a lot of different organizations and groups out and about. Well, businesses say things are picking up again. That corner's kind of been vacant the whole time, so it's nice to see, um, you know, progress in, in places kind of coming up rather than closing down. There's still boarded up shops and vacant buildings. And what else? Downtown Portland businesses are no stranger to vandalism, and either is the Shake Shack. Just last week, someone busted out a window at the new Shake Shack. Safety and security is priority for sure. Uh, I th you know, being here in the city of Portland, we're really excited to to help be a part of the, you know, as the city comes back to life uh, after COVID. But seeing something new like this is bringing back an excitement that seems to have been lost over the last couple of years. Brittany back live here in downtown this afternoon. Uh, there's going to be about 80 people that will be employed here at this uh, new shop in downtown Portland. And as you can see, you come out here, you have plenty of space if you want to sit out on the patio or go inside. But I have a feeling later on this week, when our temperatures start to warm up a little bit, this place is going to be packed. Reporting live in downtown Portland tonight, Joe Ranieri, KGW News. Yeah, looks like lots of room for outdoor dining, and that story's making me hungry. All right, thanks so much, Joe.